Pisces, Divine Pisces 2.22, and uh, happy Friday, everybody. Yay! Uh, so again, yep, ninth night in a row. And uh, I, I know I kind of discovered something and put it in the uh, comments on yesterday's video. Uh, so the new moon uh, that's coming up next week, it's, um, it's going to be on 7.31 uh, next Wednesday. Uh, it's going to be in Leo. Um, and it's going to be at 11, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. thought that was interesting. And then I realized 7 plus 3 plus 1 is 11, so... Boy, a uh, friend of mine, I told a friend of mine that yesterday, and she was like, why is the universe calling you out like this? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. All right, guys. Well, all right. There you go. That's funny. All right. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get this check-in started. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day so far. Clear. And uh, let's get this going. Um, I want to uh, thank everybody on yesterday's video. I, I really enjoyed the discussion that uh, we had. That's definitely welcome. I definitely encourage discussions um, on my videos. Um, now I decided it needed to come out. Okay, so um, so Leo's back. Um, still feeling a lot of ego here. A lot of ego uh, death may be occurring. You know, with the the tower here. Um, also, you know, the significance of the, of the new moon in Leo coming up here. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Leo. You will, you are a Leo. Have Leo in your chart. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh. Spirits aren't talking as readily today. And if you remember, the cards were flying out yesterday. Okay, I'm going to try one more. Whoa, there we go. Okay. Pisces back. So, again, uh, rules the subconscious. You may be a Pisces, maybe dealing with a Pisces. Um, A lot of depths of feeling here. Again, he may be feeling pulled in two different directions. It's really interesting because a uh, dream I had last night, I pulled um, both Leo and Pisces. It's just a lot of stuff going on with me right now. Sorry, baby needed passy. Okay, so um, some of you or your Divine Masculines may be feeling pulled in two different directions here. Um, again, uh, he may be... I don't, it's so weird. He's like so back and forth. It's like one day he, he understands the connection, the next day he wants to run from it. Uh, so it's like he's trying to run again and he's just being snapped back to it. Um, you know, Pisces is depicted as the two fish that are uh, joined together at the mouth by a tether. And so they pull in two different directions and then they can't go any further and then they snap back together. Uh, so it's like, that seems to be going on. Um, in his mind right now, emotion, I think emotions, it's like his emotions in his mind are, uh, conflicting. Yeah. But he is feeling the love. He is feeling it. Very much so. So. It's good. It's kind of, you know, comforting, I guess, in a way. Um, but, of course, some of you who have not been in communication, it may be, may be a little frustrating, right? So just keep that in mind. Try to ground yourself. Clear. All right. Let's see what's going on in his physical space. Oh. That's interesting. Double card. Hmm. Okay. I know, honey. 
<clears throat> yeah. Still rebuilding after those tower moments. Foundation's pretty shaken up, you know. Um, and um, for someone like, like the Divine Masculine who, you know, is very caught up in the 3D world, that's pretty scary. So it's like he's scrambling around just trying to rebuild everything. He's feeling very discombobulated and just doesn't really quite know where he stands. Which could explain, um, you know, the dynamic of Pisces being pulled in two different directions. Like he's being pulled between the 3D and the 5D. You know, so he's been in that energy before, but this time it's really affecting his three-dimensional world right now. And he's feeling he's pretty he's feeling pretty scared about it, you know. And and he he's still stuck in the three D realm, you know, with this whole idea that your self worth is determined by your material wealth, right? So again, he you may be dealing with a divine masculine who is financially dependent on someone or something, whether it's family, a job, a karmic partner. Um, and he's afraid he's going to lose everything, right? He's very afraid he's going to lose everything. All right? Um, so it's like he's guarding himself because he doesn't want to make a decision that is emotionally charged lest it, lest it um, you know, affects his 3D world, and that's what he's more afraid of, and I find it interesting. We've got two eights here, All right? The juxtaposition of the emotional, uh, the spiritual, the three, uh, the uh, 5D with the material, um, you know, 3D aspects of life. So, yeah, sorry. Um, baby was losing her stuff again. So yeah, so I feel like here, um, with this new moon coming up, a lot of cycles are definitely going to be ending here, and some may be beginning, uh, may be beginning, right? Um, this could be on your end, and, or on your Divine Masculine's end, but remember yesterday, you know, we were pulling a lot of cards asking, what are you willing to sacrifice, what cycles do you need to end here? So also, you know, this this is your Divine Masculine, but... You mirror each other, so um, you want to look at your own situation and see what you need to do here, okay? Um, I'm probably going to be, honestly, doing some new moon rituals because I feel like with the synchronicities and everything, it's calling me to do that, so I, I'm going to be doing that. So if you feel like that's something you need to do, go with your intuition. Do it. Maybe it'll help you release some stuff, you know? All right. It's clear. All right, Divine Feminine. Let's see what we got going on today. Sorry, I felt like I needed to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. Oh, no, 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 that's too many, that is too many, okay, um, okay, uh, King of Cups is back, so this time it's more, I feel like it's more the Divine Feminine this time, who is more secure in her emotions here. I think you're getting to the point where you can kind of control your emotions. You're feeling a little bit more even, more balanced, and that's good. Um, it's like you've gotten to the point where you can observe the emotions, deal with them, and move on. And that's that's what you want to do, right? Because you know your truth. You know who you are. You're very stable in who you are. You're, you're coming into union with yourself again, and, and that came up yesterday. And I, I you know, have said this many times and I'm going to repeat it, that's the most important thing is to be in union with yourself, right? Um, because that's what brings about union with your divine masculine. So I also feel like some divine feminines here are a little bit hesitant to let go of the stuff in the 3D. 
I mean, I know I'm guilty of this a lot of times, you know. Uh, you've built, you know, something in the 3D. You've built this life um, in the 3D with the people you know and, and, and love and things like that, you know. So it's kind of hard letting that go um, when you become attached to that because it's like, you know, how the... The Divine Masculine is feeling like his self-worth is based on his material worth, right? And and some Divine Feminines are probably mirroring that right now. But you got to get out of that headspace. you got to get out of that. Um, you know, again, what karmic situation... This is the Devil card. I know it's really dark. Um, so what karmic cycles are you having to end here? Where are you stuck in the 3D? You know, do you have addiction problems? Do you have obsession problems? Are you... Um, you know, again, in a, in a work or a work situation that you absolutely hate, you know, that sort of thing. Is there family holding you back? Right. Um, yeah. And I feel like a lot of you are in a situation that you really want to leave. You really want to leave, but you are in essence feeling stuck even though it's an illusion, right? Um, God, I got so many this time, but they're telling me all of them. So, um, so the point here is when you feel stuck outward, you go within, right? Free your mind. Uh, uh, so you want to free the spiritual side because as within, so without, right? Sorry, baby's losing her crap again. So, so when you feel stuck outwardly, you know, go within, free yourself from within. Okay, and as you work on that, as you figure out um, the spiritual stuff, the 3D stuff will follow. You lead in the spiritual world, right? Okay. Um, don't forget your truth, right? Uh, drop the 3D stuff. Take up the sword of truth here. Move forward with your decision and be bold. And don't forget your purpose, okay? You're gonna fight off. You're gonna fight off all of these naysayers, these evil entities, the karmic situations here, and defend the truth. That that's the point, okay? You know your truth. And you will find balance. There is balance coming. A lot of you are already feeling this way. You're feeling pretty grounded. Feeling. You know, uh, like the scales are tipping in your favor, um, you know, and you're really working hard to get that, right? So just keep at it. Uh, work on your inner child stuff. Stay in your happiness. Stay in your bliss. Um, don't forget the things um, that, that satisfy you spiritually, okay? Don't think so much in the 3D, but what makes you happy inside? Right? And there will be movement. Okay? So once you get out of the feeling of being stuck, once you go within, once you, you free yourself, free your spirit, free your mind, the 3D will follow. There will be movement. I do think, like I, I said before, I do feel like there's going to be a lot of changes with this new moon coming. So we're very close to Lionsgate as well, right? So the 8-8, eight, eight, how I pulled the 8-8 eight, eight before, thought that was interesting. Again, I'm so sorry, guys. Clear. When I first started doing this, I used to be able to get through without being interrupted. I, I don't know what's happening. I really don't. So... All right, let's get some uh, messages from our Divine Masculine today for our Divine Feminines here. Let's see what we got. Uh-oh, that was quick. Okay, be of service. All right, don't forget your mission. Find your mission if you haven't found it yet. Ask your spirit guides. Ask Source. They will help you. They will show you the way. Okay, it's very important that you do that. Right? And when you ask for help, be sincere about it. You know, don't be trepidatious. You don't want to be like, well, you know, I 
guess I need a mission, you know, so I can be with my Divine Masculine. No. No, you need mission because that is your purpose. Right? It will help you eventually get to your Divine Masculine, but that's not the... Although it is kind of the point, it's not the point. The point is for you to be of service. That is your mission. Right? And again, be open to love. Be open to the love you're receiving from the universe, from your Divine Masculine, from yourself, from your higher self from other people. Walk in love. All right, let's get some advice from the universe. Clear. And it'd be funny if New Moon and Leo popped up, right? <laughs> oh, good times. Work through your fears. So again, if you have any trepidations, if you have any fears about leaving the 3D behind, anything in the 3D, you need to move past that. Go within. Okay? Um, fear holds you back. Right? Love moves you forward. Okay? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> A lot of messages today. Yeah. The energy is gaining momentum. Again, you guys are probably feeling this. Like, yesterday I was super excited. Like, I had, a, like, a lot of excitement going on. Like, this surge of energy yesterday, right? Pretty crazy. Um, keep your balance. You want to stay balanced. And Pisces came up before with the Divine Masculine. You know, he's feeling kind of pulled in two different directions. And you may be feeling that too between the spiritual and the 3D. So just remember to keep that balance. You don't want more of one than the other, right? You also want to balance the masculine and the feminine inside. A lot of times it'll switch. Like the, the Divine Feminine sometimes will go into her masculine energy and vice versa. So you want to keep those balanced. Um, what? Oh, your commitment. <laughs> I was like communication. I was like, I can't read backwards. Um, uh, your commitment's still being tested here. Okay, this we're going through a, a you know kind of an SAT thing here. <laughs> okay, um, so uh, just make sure that you're staying grounded. Pay attention to the signs that you're receiving. Okay, I know a lot of you feel like giving up. Again, step out of your comfort zone. You know, if your mission is something that you wouldn't normally do, trust it. Do it anyway. Go forward without fear. All right. Sorry again. Um, so if you have been searching for answers, if you've been wanting your DM to talk to you, uh, maybe he ghosted you and you have no idea why, you know, that sort of thing, and you haven't been getting answers, those are coming. Again, uh, yesterday I stated some of you may be getting communication. He may be talking to you about it. Right. And new moon. Expect powerful change. So the changes are coming. Things are progressing as you work on yourself, as you work on balancing yourself, opening your chakras, getting that inner child work done. You know, things are going to start turning around for you. And they have been. They have been turning. Things are progressing. Right. Oops. Okay. I'm sorry for like the discombobulation in this reading today. I, I'm just kind of going with it at this point. Um, so I sincerely apologize for all the interruptions. I sincerely hope the message was clear, but she is losing her stuff right now. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and take care of that. Um, I sincerely appreciate you guys stopping by. If this resonated, that's fantastic. Please like, share, subscribe. Of course, any comments are welcome. If you saw something different in the cards, please let me know. Um, and if you have any, uh, you know, information on the new moon or anything like that, let us know Put it in the, uh, in the uh, comments below. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I hope you have a happy Friday, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.